So I just saw a video on YouTube about the world's smokiest ball, and it used a, a titanium compound that made um, like hydrochloric acid uh, vapor, hydrogen chloride vapor, uh, when it reacted with air, and it smoked a lot. And I just wanted to show you a way you can do it, uh, a different way you can do it. And so this stuff is actually, it says Hell's Smoke. I call it Magic Smoking eBay Jelly. And you read the instructions, and it says things like, you know, take out the product and cut a smaller piece with scissors, and, you know, take out a dollar coin and put the cut paper on the coin, la 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 la. You eventually read it, and you understand that what you're supposed to do is you take this paper, and you put it on a metal thing, and you light it on fire. do this outside <clears throat> and what's happening is that this red sheet uh, was actually a sheet of it's basically just red phosphorus um, like what you find on a matchbook and what happens is when you burn it uh, you make a chemical reaction that basically makes a kind of impure white phosphorus get rid of that and what you're left behind is this oil. You have to wait a little while for it to cool. Um, and, you know, so we'll wait for a minute. I'll keep talking, I guess. And this white phosphorus, it'll react with the air and create uh, phosphorus pentaoxide, which is looks like smoke. And this is actually used in, like, military smoke uh, munitions. And the reason it's used is because it's actually, um, it might be the most efficient smoke producing device because if you look at the chemical formula of phosphorus pentaoxide almost all of the mass comes from oxygen so you can use just a little bit of this phosphorus and you can get a lot of smoke out of it and so we don't see anything uh i've never tried this before with the ball let's try this with the ball and i'm just gonna let's try and get this ball nice and coated this is not working the best so i'm just coating the ball all right, and we can see that something's already starting to happen. And this is actually just activated by friction. So I normally would use this, I would do this with just my hands. And okay, this is not the smokiest ball yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take my glove off just to show you. You know, you actually can do this. It's, it's not like the most dangerous thing in the world. Um, but you can get burned, so I've used this, and it's uh, actually smoked onto my fingers before. So I thought I'd, you know, kind of be a little bit prudent and wear gloves. But if it's spread out, it's not so bad. All right. All right. I might regret this in a moment. But here we have. This is not as smoky, I'll say. This is not as smoky as Nile Red's version but it is a smoking ball. And what's cool about this is it's not just the ball, it's anything that this phosphorus sucks, and this will go for quite a while. And so my fingers now actually are smoking too. So I'm just gonna grab a little bit of this stuff. You do, again, you have to be careful. This will actually just combust on your fingers. So maybe I'll get it on video of me going, ah, but yeah. So I think that's pretty neat. And this will continue to smoke for a while, as long as there's a little bit covering it. I think I, I spread it a little bit too thin, but yeah, that's uh, one way to make a smoky ball.